Hey guys, it's Premier 91, and I'm talking about the Xbox, not the Xbox One, but the next one that's supposed to release in 2020, or should I say next two? Maybe. I was watching Spawner's video, and he talks about how apparently we may have two models of the Xbox. Now, in the Kotaku article, it seems to say that there's going to be like one high-end console and one lower-end console. The higher-end will be the Anaconda, and the lower-end will be the Lockhart. The Lockhart will also be discless, I believe, according to the rumor. But here's the thing, I don't think that's going to happen. Not that it won't be discless, I mean, Microsoft has already made a discless Xbox One, so it makes sense that they would make a discless Xbox Scarlet, I suppose. But at the same time, I don't see them lowering the hardware inside. Why? Because it doesn't make sense. See, imagine if the Lockhart came out, right, and it was discless, and it was $399 while the Xbox Anaconda was $499, and it's more powerful, and it comes with the disc drive. Do you really think a lot of people would buy the Lockhart if that happened? I don't think so. Look at the Xbox One digital. Yes, I don't have sale numbers, but I just don't think that a lot of people are buying it because it's only about $50 less than the console. So I don't think for $50 less, people are going out to buy discless Xbox Ones. And I don't think that if the Lockhart came out and it was both discless and a lower end model, it would sell that well because it'd be like cutting off both of the knees. You're not including a disc, so no one can play physical hardware on that console. And you would have it a lower end hardware wise, so games probably wouldn't run as well, and graphics probably wouldn't look as good. So it'd be like a lose lose, I think, to buying the Lockhart system. Now, if they were able to remove the disc and still make it about $100 less than the Anaconda, I really do think that the Xbox Lockhart would sell well. Why? Because people would be like, okay, yeah, there's no disc, but it's $100 less and it's the same amount of power. I feel like you would have a lot of people buy both systems and they'd both sell, maybe not equally, but around the same amount of units. And people who don't care about physical hardware at all would get the Lockhart. People who care about physical hardware would get the Anaconda. And I do think that the Lockhart would slightly outsell the Anaconda because I think a lot of people would be like, I'm not paying $100 more for a disc drive. So, I just don't think that the Lockhart, if it is coming out, will be a lower end. I think you just have to have the same hardware inside and it'd just be discless. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the Lockhart will be both discless and a lower end, like the Kotaku article seems to imply? Or do you think that the Lockhart would just be a discless version of the Xbox Anaconda? And do you even think that there are going to be two versions of the Xbox Scarlet on launch? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. May God bless you all.